hello guys and welcome to my channel today in this video i am going to teach you guys how to overclock your cpu and increase your video ram on your raspberry pi 4 when you install windows on it so ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys to start with the overclocking process first you need to turn on your raspberry pi 4 ensure that it is connected to the internet and you do a remote connection with your existing windows pc or your mac pc so guys if you do not know how to set up the remote desktop connection on windows of your raspberry pi 4 i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out to start with the overclocking process you need to open the browser and go to the decode server to download an overclocking software i will put the link of the decode server in the description below for you guys to check it out ensure that you follow this tutorial at your own risk i will not be responsible for any damage to your raspberry pi 4 or breaking of your raspberry pi 4 by following this process once the decode server page is loaded it will ask you to register your account with your username i will add my channel name as username as astro shooting stars and continue to create the account it will ask you for the confirmation whether you want to create the account or not click on create account and proceed it will confirm whether it is uh, whether you are human or not click on i am human and then it will proceed with the registration process while the registration page is loading ensure that guys you have a good cooling system on your cpu of your raspberry pi 4 otherwise you will damage the cpu by overclocking it as it will generate a lot of heat so ensure that guys you use a good cooling system your cheap cooling system it's not gonna work while overclocking your cpu on your raspberry pi 4 all right so once the page is loaded it will ask you for your date of birth and then the email and the password and it will ask you to verify your email once you verify it will ask you to confirm the terms and conditions and agree to it so once you agree the terms and condition you can submit it will take you to the community of windows on raspberry pi 4 on your decode server click to proceed it will take you to the community page click on the post to see the latest post as you can see at the bottom it will not allow you to register and go inside the community unless uh, you wait for 10 minutes so in these 10 minutes you can go through these community guidelines and everything so that you understand what this community is all about and what are the terms and conditions so that you do not get banned by violating any of the policies or conditions for this community so ensure that you wait for 10 minutes here on this page uh, before you can proceed further and download the tool once the waiting time of 10 minutes has been finished you can see the message at the bottom of the page will be disabled now you can go and uh, agree to the conditions and like the page to get the further menus on the left side of the community page you need to go into the download section and search for windows on raspberry pi control panel so this is how it looks like you need to click on the link above to download this software so this is the software through which you can do an overclocking on raspberry pi 4 while you are on windows it will give you some warnings whether it's a harmful thing you are going to download an executable on your raspberry pi 4 don't worry about it just uh, click and agree and keep the file uh, on the required place as you can see i have put it on my desktop i will go to the properties and i will always check this uh, checkbox to ensure that it is run as administrator whenever i click and run on it so now i will click on this um, tool and agree to run as administrator so your windows on raspberry pi 4 control panel will be loaded on your screen as you can see this is the tool that is used for overclocking and it also gives a lot of more information uh, about your raspberry pi 4 what are the current system status how is your cpu used you can also control your io ports you can download additional softwares to be downloaded and installed on your windows it will also give your system information tell about 
what kind of ram you have what kind of chip you have how much it is utilized what kind of cpu you have what is the current status you can also have some overlays to give you a real-time information on the cpu usage temperatures and furthermore information so it will be kind of overlay you can put it there on the screen so that it gives you a real-time information while using your raspberry pi 4 so now we'll go to the setting section in this section you will see the ability for this software to overclock your cpu as of now you can see all the bars at the bottom are now disabled and you cannot overclock it there are presets available based on the system resolutions your cpu can be adjusted so manually overclocking anything you need to enable the advanced option on the top once you enable it all the options on the bottom will be enabled and you can overclock your cpu and over voltage your cpu you can increase your video ram and everything so before i hit apply let's check the current status of your raspberry pi 4 cpu so as you can see your cpu clock frequency or base clock frequency is 1.5 gigahertz as of now i have increased the cpu overclocking to around uh, 2 gigahertz and I also increase the voltage consumption to 6 volt so as to support the overclocking power that extra power that your CPU needs to overclock and also I will increase the video RAM and everything and hit apply once you apply it all the settings will be applied but it will not be reflected directly onto your system immediately you need to restart the system and then you can recheck the settings if it was applied or not so i will restart the system and log in back and go to the properties to check whether my system was applied or not so let's restart the system now i have restarted my raspberry pi 4 i have logged in again on my raspberry pi 4 remotely and now let us check whether the overclocking was applied or not as you can see my blaze clock frequency has increased from 1.5 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz so you see guys my overclocking works and everything that i applied uh, is available here on the properties i can see it so this will give you a better performance on your cpu but at the same time guys it will generate more heat on your cpu so you ensure that you have a good cooling system already applied on your raspberry pi 4 so that you do not damage your cpu on your raspberry pi 4 by overheat so as you can see here guys it will not be reflected here in the settings again so your settings is applied but on your software once you open it again it will not show you whether it was applied or not it will show still the default values so let's go to the settings and check whether the video ram settings has been applied or not so to do that you need to go to the settings and go to the display and as you can see here my display adapter has been disabled this is the second last option uh, that i have it is because i am connected to my raspberry pi 4 using my remote desktop connection if you have a physical uh, monitor attached to your raspberry pi 4 you can always check the video ram which is increased by your windows on raspberry pi 4 software that you applied so that will also be available and visible so this is it guys this is how you overclock your cpu on your raspberry pi 4 and also you can increase or decrease the over voltage under volt your cpu and increase the video ram so this is how you do it using this windows on raspberry pi 4 control panel i hope you guys like this video if you like this video do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies